So please be kind. He's worked all over Asia. I mean, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Chatsworth. <laughs> Things like, thanks, I'll be your week, try the beer. <laughs> also, learn about some big erection coming in November. <laughs> Girlfriend say she's still waiting for big erection. <laughs> I, I not know what she mean by that. My English is quite fine, thank you very much. But I guess when you're Asian, the stereotype of having bad language skills, well, just naturally comes with the territory. But uh, it still amazes me, though, how many people still think us Asians are all bad drivers, own laundromats, and have small dicks. <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you that, at least in my case, well, two out of three aren't true. That's sadly, for the ladies out there, I start traffic school next week. And, and what I say with people always saying that us Asians enjoy eating dog, okay? This is entirely not true. We actually prefer cats. I'm going to tell you why. Because, quite frankly, they're meatier and they're lower in carbs. This also helps to explain why so many Asians are thin. Um, wow, that took a long time. <laughs> and I know a lot of people say this Asians all look alike. Now, this is actually quite an advantage for me because on Halloween, I could go back to the houses with a really good candy. <laughs> Honey, there sure are a lot of ninjas this year. But you know what? I can't blame people for thinking the way they do. I mean, the most exposure they had to Asian culture are probably those horribly dubbed kung fu movies. You guys remember those, right? My other problem with those films were, how come everyone either sounded like John Wayne? You, Chiaoling, the rebels are gathering at the fortress. Let's go. Or they sounded like someone who was constipated. Ooh, your kung fu is quite good, but mine is not so good. But I guess we are a product of what we see. I mean, growing up, I watched a lot of black comedies, like The Jefferson and The Good Times, so you guys can kind of imagine what my wardrobe was like. I mean, picture this uh, short Asian kid with uh, gold chains, platform shoes, and a big-ass afro. I look like the uh, illegitimate son of Yoko Ono and Mr. T. <laughs> But it wasn't all bad looking like a Chinese pimp. <laughs> Except that time when I had to try and cram 10 hoes into the back seat of my pink Honda Civic. <laughs> it's a good thing Asian women are small, man. <laughs> now speaking of my mom. Oh. Uh, all right, she's not here. <laughs> but 
it used to get really frustrating for me speaking English to my mom because she took everything really literally. Like if you said, hold on, mom, I'm going to be like, hold on, hold on to what? <laughs> or, or there was that time we passed by the Virgin Megastore, and my mom was like, ooh, I think you'll go find a nice girl in here. <laughs> and I was like, sadly, mom, I'm still part of their inventory. Don't worry, folks, I'm hoping to get marked out for Christmas. <laughs> and then just yesterday, I told my mom I was doing stand-up comedy. And my mom was like, how is standing up funny? <laughs> if they don't pay you, you sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I spent a few years living in Taiwan, and um, I got hired by this radio station to announce baseball games. And the best thing about doing a baseball game in a foreign country is, you really don't have to get the names right at all, okay? I mean, half the time we crank up the mic, drop a few coins on the counter, and those ching chang chong sounds like they sounded just like them ball players' names. <laughs> Except when there was a wang or a dong in the game, then we had to use something else. <laughs> but actually, doing a game in Taiwan is well, pretty simple. Um, your typical call kind of went like this. Chan into the windup and the pitch to Chan. Chan hits a ground ball up the middle, speared by the shortstop. Chan, who flips to the second baseman. Chan, who fires onto the first baseman. Help me out here, sober people. Of course, Chan to Chan to Chan, a double play. I love sports, but one thing I will never quite understand is why do black athletes get black tattoos, okay? Gold or silver show up a little bit better? In fact, when you think about it, wouldn't any color show up better than black? Okay? Black on black to me is like an albino putting white out on themselves. And I remember telling this joke and my friend was like, aren't you afraid you're gonna get beat up for telling such a racial joke? Right? I was like, nah, dude, I ain't afraid of no albinos. dark, you know, it's not like you couldn't see the guy coming or anything. <laughs> but it did get me thinking though, what if there was like a badass albino street gang, you know? They could have like, uh, you know, instead of the Bloods or the Crips, they could be called, you know, the Whiteys or something. And, uh, you know, and they could have cool gangster names, you know, like uh, Snowball, Chalk, <laughs> And their girlfriends could be named, oh, I don't know, Cool Whip or Primora. <laughs> and of course, the leader would be the baddest albino of them all. You guys know what I'm talking about. Jacko, of course. Michael J. 